Hi Frozen fans! Today we're going to show you how to build the ultimate Arendelle castle. We'll make it fun and easy to take it from parts and pieces to a world of magic. And on the back of the box, there's a fun color by number activity that your child can do while the castle comes to life. You'll find the instructions on the inside flap, and it's easiest to lay out the pieces on the floor as shown on the contents page. A little hint, you'll notice some pieces have numbers etched on them for easier assembly, but we'll walk you through it when we get there. Let's start by assembling the first floor. First, take these four pieces and attach them together. Make sure you press down firmly so you hear a click. Connect the walls together like this. Then attach the railings to the inside of the walls. There are four railings. The shortest railing goes on the left and the longest railing goes on the right side. Now we're ready to attach the walls to the base. Make sure the inside part of the wall is facing this way. Press down firmly until you hear them click into place. Now for the columns. There are six columns. There are numbers etched at the bottom of the columns that match numbers on the base. These are numbers 20L and 20R. The two tallest columns go in the center of the base. The two shortest columns go at the end of the base. The last two columns go on the second floor, so we'll just hang on to those for now. Now we're going to put the railings on the sides of the base. The flaps should fade south side. The ribbed edge goes inside the slot. Ready to keep going? There are three pairs of arches. We're going to start on the right. So grab 16R and 14R and connect them together. Then connect them to the castle. And next, we'll do the same on the left. The last set of arches are the center arches, 15L and 15R. Snap them into the castle, making sure the hollow sides face each other. Let's move on to the door. Handle should be on the lower half of the door. Place them into the front of the castle. Snap the icy blue gates into the left and right side of the castle. And that completes the first floor. Let's move on to the second story. We'll start by assembling the base of the second floor. The purple piece clicks into the left side and the pink piece clicks into the right side. The orange piece clicks into the center. Make sure you press firmly so it clicks all around. Now let's assemble the back wall of the second floor. Pinch them together to connect them. 24 is on the left side and 26 is on the right side of the white piece. Now we're ready to attach the walls to the castle. Make sure the inside part of the wall is facing this way. Press down to ensure they're firmly in place. Next, take the purple side wall and attach it into the right side back wall we just connected. Then do the same on the other side. Time for the railings. Let's do the left side first. Push the railing into the slots of the purple floor and put the posts into the hole on the side wall. Then repeat on the right side. Time to assemble the remaining columns, 29L and 29R. Snap them into the center orange floor and make sure that the ribbing on the sides of the columns face each other. Before attaching the doll stand to the balcony, make sure you insert the batteries, which I've already done. Now snap the doll stand into the balcony. Then connect part 34 to the back of the balcony. Make sure the arrow is facing you and pointing up when you install it. Slide the balcony along the tracks of the center columns and make sure the crystal orb faces the white wall. Now we've completed the second floor. To start the third floor, take the green part and snap it onto the center columns and the back wall. Press down firmly until you hear it click all around. Now take the U-shaped white piece and snap it into the green piece we just put on. Make sure it clicks all around. Now we'll assemble the roof. The roof has three pieces. First, take the one with one triangle and attach it to the right side wall. It's easiest if you slide it into the horizontal slot first and then attach the rest of the posts into the remaining slots. Then do the same thing on the other side. Take the base of Olaf's balcony and snap the brown railing into it. Then snap the balcony into the white U-shaped wall. 
Then take the last roof piece and snap it into the back of Olaf's balcony and the back of the white wall. Make sure you hear the click. Now we're gonna work on the outside of the castle. First, take the M-shaped piece and attach it to the right side of the roof. There are two more trimming pieces. Take the taller one and attach it to the center of the castle and the shorter one fits on the left side of the roof. Next, snap in the towers. Make sure you press until you hear the click. Slide the icicles into the back of the towers. Take the center tower and slide it into the top of the castle and then press down so it snaps into Olaf's balcony. Press the last icicle into the roof piece. Then slide the roof piece onto the highest tower. Now, back on the inside, we'll place the four icicle decorations. Take the two larger ones and press them into the holes on the third floor. Take the two smaller ones and press them into the holes on the outside corners of the second floor. And that completes the third floor. Now you can assemble the accessories and decorative panels by following those sections in the instruction sheet. Some helpful tips for the finishing touches. Slide the decorative panels between the tabs. For the stickers on the bed, the top sticker goes on the headboard, the middle sticker goes on the footboard, and the bottom sticker goes on the canopy. Now that everything's assembled, it's time to play. If you have an Elsa doll, you can place her into the balcony. Hold onto the balcony in the back with both hands and you can move it up and down. You can also press the bottom of the balcony to activate a colorful light show. Roll out the red carpet. There you have it. I hope you enjoy all of your Arendelle adventures.